The last couple of weeks of life have been pretty difficult. We have been walking through a season of loss, and just kind of mourning along with people that we know. It's been a little hard for me to navigate through that. Hi. I've been watching Livia and just looking at how she is just such a light. One thing that is certain as a mom is that we are going to walk through several hard seasons of life. This past week has been a heavy week. We have been mourning the loss of loved ones of some close friends and people that we've looked up to. There's been several people that we know that have lost grandparents, parents, spouses, children, and it's just been hard um, to take it all in. And um, just thinking of the loss and just how hard life can be and this morning Livia has a checkup so I'm excited to see how her eyes been doing but I've been also reflecting this morning on what have I learned from this little girl in the last two years almost two years of her life and fighting to get her vision and um, <laughs> you would get him buckled and there have been a lot of good lessons to take away um, from somebody so little I feel like a lot of life's lessons don't happen until you become a parent and you understand this new level of love and reflection. Hi. Hi. I've been watching Livia and just looking at her and how she is just such a light. Hi. When she was first born and started patching her good eye so that her brain will learn to use her eye that's not does not have good sight in our whole family decided to patch one day with her and just to feel that experience and know what she's going through so we can understand whenever she gets to those days where she does not want to patch that we we can kind of empathize with her and so as i've been thinking through these past couple of weeks and um and figuring out what life is going to be looking like from here on i've just been watching her you want to vlog? Yeah. No, you don't get the camera. Are No. There you are. I'm seeing myself. Say hi. Hi. You want to go get in your chair? Can you go sit up there? She's been doing awesome at patching. We have had the seasons where she wants to rip the patch off and she does not want to wear it. And it um, is the last thing she wants to do. And we go through like 10 patches in a day and just kind of fighting her and keeping her like, I know this is hard, but this is good for you to go through and you're gonna get some vision at the end of this. And so for me, I was just thinking like, this is such a hard season. What lesson can I learn here? What character building traits can I gain from this? And how can I learn to walk through this with my kids and teach them how to handle these situations whenever they get older and it starts to affect them more. Watching Livia has just been amazing because I have wondered from the beginning, like how is her eye gonna hold her back? Is she gonna be a more timid kid? Is she gonna hang next to me and, and wanna hold my hand everywhere we go or hide behind me? And is she gonna just not enjoy life to the fullest like the rest of our kids have? And I feel like through her trials of having to learn how to see and we're getting increasing her sight and wearing patches that are uncomfortable and not what she wants to go through and then having to wear glasses on top of that and they get smudgy and having to clean them and just so much to stay on top of. It's been awesome to see how all of that that she's worked through already in her short almost two years of life I think has just built so much joy into her personality. And she wants to do things and she's got this confidence that, um, that I wanna learn from, that she's full of joy and, and sees something and is excited about it and wants to try something new and be adventurous because she's strengthening herself through this and that character trait of like, I can do something hard so I can do this. And getting that confidence there makes me want to go through these times and be like, okay, like this is a time that I'm having to learn through and go through and become stronger through. And in the end of this, like what's next? What can I handle and what can I tackle? And what can I 
do to better myself and those around me. Olivia had two appointments pretty close together but at different places and on different days. So we are going to her second appointment now. We saw her ophthalmologist, now we're seeing her optometrist. And I get those two mixed up so many times. I know who is who, but the names of it are just so similar. So now I'm excited to see what happens because we have not been having appointments recently. So as hard as these moments are and as hard as it is to, to face something and, um, and to try to get through it, Yes, there are moments where I want to just kind of drown it away and, and try to ignore it and pretend like it's not happening in the moment. But I know that in that there's not going to be growth. There's actually going to be some backsliding if I just try to ignore things. Then trying to figure it out, like why are these emotions so strong at this time right now? Why am I feeling the way that I do? What triggers are happening because of what? Is it my health? Is it my emotions? Is it how am I doing spiritually right now? And there's so many layers I feel like that we need to check in constantly on good days and on bad days and just see what's going on and seeing what can grow in, in any time of life. Doggy! 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 There's a doggy! There is a doggy, you're right! You getting another patch? Bah. You don't need a patch on, oh, bunk, just yet. Bah. I'm excited to see that in Livia, and, and I see so much in her that I want for myself. And she's been such a testimony to me of being able to grasp onto the hard things. And it's also been good for me to be a fighter for her and be like, no, like you've got to do this. We've got to face this. We've got to wear that patch. We've got to keep going to these appointments and increasing your sight. And, and it's those moments of watching her go through this that get me excited to be like, okay, like there's going to be another side to this. Yes, things are tough right now, but there's more days to come. And where do I want to be down the road? Hey, Livia. Uh -oh. Livia, do you know how to whisper? Say, ah! <laughs> Livia. Livia, say whisper. Ah! That's not a whisper. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Hey, how big is Livia? So big. I don't know what trials you're going through right now. I don't know how difficult they are. I don't know how long they've been going on. But I want to encourage you to step forward and keep pressing on and go through those difficult times. Choose what is best and face whatever's happening and keep moving. It's through these moments that we can learn so much and be able to start reclaiming motherhood that is so difficult in different seasons of life. She's sick, she's just ignoring me. That's all she's doing. You're ignoring me? You're okay. sitting nice and still, but it's not as helpful. Hey, hey. What are you doing, Billy? <laughs> Sometimes those seasons can feel like they're gonna last forever, but they don't. And I just wanna encourage you to find the strength for today or for this hour and keep pushing on and keep pressing forward and reclaim motherhood because it is a joy to have all these little children that wanna love us and that need us. And there is so much to learn. There were so many things that I thought that I knew before becoming a mom. And now that I am a mom, I'm like, oh, I didn't know anything. And I know I have so much more to learn. You wanna look at your bunny next? You gotta look at me first. First, Libby, there you go. Let's check bunny. Let's check bunny. Good job, bunny. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> so in these moments, in these days, when things get tough, keep going. It'll get better. I don't know when and I don't know how to keep going.